What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregel's TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing guys? Let's get into the news. First story of the day comes out of T-Mobile and also Sprint for the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. I'm talking shipments. Now yesterday I got an email from a user uh, who said that his Galaxy S9 Plus had shipped with Sprint and then he should be receiving it uh, tomorrow which now is today. It looks like still does not have it today. So the Sprint version that has shipped out uh, still has tracking number but no update with the tracking number. It did show that it was going to arrive today but it didn't. So it looks like it's going to be pushed until probably Monday and I say that because another person that has Sprint also said uh, that they got their tracking number and uh, that it says overnight shipping and that it will arrive uh, Monday. You know, obviously I, UPS usually doesn't do Saturday deliveries, they do in some cases, but mostly that's kind of like a FedEx thing. So it looks like those won't probably arrive until Monday at the earliest right now with Sprint. I also have tracking from somebody from T-Mobile and uh, they also, it says sometime it'll arrive between like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but they do have tracking. So Sprint, T-Mobile customers do have tracking. I haven't had any confirmation from customers that have Verizon or AT&T or just ordered from Samsung or Best Buy, nothing of the sort. So if you are with one of those carriers and you have that I've just mentioned that that doesn't have tracking and you do have tracking, you can email me at greggleSTV at gmail.com. You can text me at 619-721-3699 or you can reach me on social media at greggleSTV. And the last story of the day is about the Galaxy Note 9. Uh, Ming-Chi Koo, who usually gives us rumors on Apple products, has recently given us a newest rumor on the Galaxy Note 9 about it not, that's unfortunately, not having the fingerprint sensor underneath the display on the Galaxy Note 9. He said they're running into technical issues and they can't get it implemented fast enough. I guess it, it could be because they can't, maybe it's not accurate enough or maybe it's not fast enough. But regardless, it looks like the technology is not up to snuff for Samsung to just throw it on their phone and call it a day. They really want that to be perfect. And it looks like it's not. And it looks like it's, they ran out of time to put it on the new Galaxy Note 9. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day. Throwing it back to you guys. What do you think about that? Does that piss you off? Does that make you not want to get the Galaxy Note 9 at this point? If that rumor comes true of about it not having the fingerprint sensor underneath the display, how does that make you feel? Let me know in the comments down below if you're going to stay with your Galaxy Note 8, because I know a lot of you are very happy with the Galaxy Note 8. Happy enough to not even want to even think about buying the S9 or S9 Plus. So now you're looking at the Note 9. What is it going to have different than the Note 8? Maybe it's going to have the same design at this point especially if they're not going to put the fingerprint sensor underneath the display. Maybe the fingerprint sensor will be on the same place that it is with the S9, S9 Plus, which is slightly below the camera on the back. So let me know, guys. I mean, I want to know your opinions. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you down the road. Peace!